Hi, good day. Today I'll be speaking about Boost's algorithm for two's complement multiplication. What is Boost's algorithm? Boost's algorithm is a multiplication algorithm used to multiply two signed binary numbers in two's complement notation. We use this algorithm because it allows the multiplication of two signed binary numbers in two's complement notation and also assists the ALU in subtraction or addition operations to be performed in different ways to obtain the same result. For example, 4 plus 6 is 10 or 11 minus 1 is also 10. This allows for increase in system performance. We use Boost's algorithm also because of its advantage over unsigned binary multiplication, and this is that Boost's algorithm facilitates the process of multiplying signed numbers. How to use Boost's algorithm? We first need to identify the accumulator, A, the multiplicand, M, the multiplier, Q, and variables X and Y to count the bit length of M and Q. Now for an example. 6 multiplied by minus 2 should give us minus 12. 6, in binary decimal notation, would be represented by 0, 1, 1, 0. 2 will be represented by 0, 0, 1, 0. And minus 2 would just be the 2's complement notation of 2, which is 1, 1, 1, 0. The table on the right-hand side would be explained further as the example goes on. But bear in mind, this is going to be used quite often. We then formulate our table and populate it with A, the accumulator, which will start at 0, 0, 0, 0, Q, the multiplier, which will be 0, 1, 1, 0, Q minus 1, which will also, also always start at 0, and the multiplicand, which will always be 1, 1, 1, 0. Looking at the least significant bit of Q and the most significant bit of Q minus 1, this becomes or gives us combined 0, 0. Looking up in the table above, we can see 0, 0 represents no change. So the action shift would be used in this state. With the shift action, we will take the least significant bit of Q, which is 0, and place it under A, the accumulator, and then take all details from the record above and place it underneath, shifting everything to the right. This will give us 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and the multiplicand would always be the same. Looking at the most significant bit of Q minus 1 and the least significant bit of Q combined, we get 1, 0. 1, 0 represents subtraction. To perform this, we need to find 2's complement of the multiplicand, which is 2 and Q, the multiplier, would remain the same, 0, 0, 1, 1. Then we perform a shift. This will give us 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 1 in Q minus 1. Looking at the least significant bit of Q, and the most significant bit of Q minus 1, we see that we get 1, 1. 
which is no operation. So we perform another shift. But this shift would use the least significant bit of Q as a rollover. This means we would get one zero 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 one zero 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 one looking at the least significant bit of q which is zero and the most significant bit of q minus one which is one we see that this is an addition to perform the addition we add the multiple can to the accumulator and this will give us 10110 zero, one, zero. but since we're only using or working with 4 bits the last bit would be discarded finally we perform a shift and this will give us Zero zero one one for the accumulator and zero one zero zero for the multiplier. And doing the conversion, zero one zero zero is minus twelve in binary.